my experience uh, was with R.D. Mask uh, of Amarillo and Henry Wilhelm of Nazareth, Texas. And they, to me, I guess, would represent um, the one-band operation in terms of cattle up here. They generally had about 200 head of cattle, and they would generally handle them alone. Uh, they would bring in a friend like me, usually just me, and sometimes a son or a grandson. But the things that they encountered that make their experience so different from the big ranchers is that they have to innovate all the time. They have to constantly try to do things with large animals that will, uh, when I asked one of them's sons, which one of these cows is going to hurt you, he said, any of them can hurt you. Uh, and so they have to innovate. For instance, uh, uh, lead into the next event here is uh, uh, R.D. would get this great big Indian named Bear, and they would bring all these young calves into a small area, but it was really too big, tie the horses off and go in on foot and just manhandle them down. No shoot, no roping, nothing fancy, nothing that you They just bull them down. And... Uh, I would help with that, and that was that was pretty tough because whoever could grab a piece of the calf, the others would just pile on, and I would always end up underneath, and they they would always try to release at the same time. I would be the last one. They get kicked, they're getting wet, steamy manure, and uh, it was it was really pretty pretty funny. Uh, and the way he would castrate them is generally put rubber bands around their testicles, or and he would put ear tags, and they would give them shots, and then he just let them go. It was just getting me beat to heck. And so sometimes they would get other help. And one day they had these two teenage kids out there on these big rangy cow horses that were really good looking. And the kids were great. They could rope them, stretch them, and they could knock it out. Uh, and then to show off, uh, that day they were castrating with a knife. And, uh, you know, up here they call it calf fries, and it's considered a delicacy. They would take the testicles and heat them up over a cigarette lighter and, and eat them, which I thought was a little odd, but I was so happy to see them take all that physical brutality off me. I was fine with it. Uh, after that, though, I told him to give me a dime, and when he did, I said, this is for a year. I'll go anywhere, move your cattle anytime, bring the, pay for the fuel, sometimes the food, but I'm not getting off this daggum horse again and getting beat up like that because they... The big operations, they've got pens, they move them to smaller pens, they got chutes, they got an organization, and they know what they're doing. And even then, they get hurt. 